Hello guys, what is up? Beckbro Jack here back for another Minecraft tutorial and today I will be showing you guys how to install Minecraft mods for version 1.8 and above. I hope you all enjoy. And uh, I decided that I would finally show you how to install Minecraft mods for 1.8 because uh, I got a message on Twitter asking me, you know, they had some issues and uh, they wanted to know how to install Minecraft mods for 1.8 and uh, I just told them that it was kind of buggy right now. They seem to do everything correct, but that got me thinking that probably a lot of people forgot or just don't really know how to install mods for 1.8. I mean, the process is pretty much the same and I've made another video on this, but I just decided that I would do an updated version of it because uh, it's been a while since I've done it. it's been like a few months since I've done a video on how to install mods plus there's a new version of Minecraft Forge with like new links and stuff so yeah I just thought that I would update it for you guys and uh, just show you guys how to install mods so without further ado let's get right into it but before we do make sure to go pound the like button if this video is useful to you and also make sure to go refer this video to your friends if they're having trouble with mods because I know that when I first started Minecraft I had like tons of trouble installing mods and I watched other videos that people suggested to me and that really helped me out and that actually got me to where I am today on YouTube so yeah uh, but anyway let's get into this tutorial so let's go on Google Chrome or any internet browser and you're going to click the first link in the description which is files.minecraftforge.net now this is a little bit different from the old link that I used for those of you who remember my old video or that's how you found my channel uh, it used to be just this first link that you see that's kind of in like a bolded kind of font uh, but yeah right after it that's just a little extension to it because they totally made a brand new page for 1.8 as you can see right here if I click on the down thing that only shows 1.8 mods because a couple different things were changed like a, a lot of the layout of Minecraft Forge was changed so I guess they just decided to make a whole brand new web page for 1.8 downloads so once you get to here you are going to just download the latest version for me uh, it is version 11 14 0 12 61 but yeah just download the latest one uh, if that one doesn't work for you then go to like the recommended one but at the moment there isn't any recommended ones it's just the latest because it's been released actually yesterday uh, so yeah uh, they're just kind of releasing a whole bunch of new versions of this because it was just released about a month ago so yeah anyway you're going to come over here and hit installer now this should open the adfly page and for those of you guys who know adfly you just got to wait five seconds and then hit the skip add button in the top right and then all the way down here in the bottom left it will ask you if you want to keep this file because it could harm your computer just hit keep there will be no harm done to your computer i promise you guys forge is a reliable and safe website to use so now that you have this forge jar file, you are going to click it open because it's going to open this brand new thing called Minecraft Forge and it's an automatic installer, which is really awesome. So once you open it, just uh, make sure install client is uh, highlighted and then hit OK. Now this should download it. It should download the libraries and such. And then it should say complete successfully installed a client profile for Forge for the version as it says here. And uh, we're going to hit OK on that. Now what I recommend doing is actually running Minecraft once before doing this. Now, um, I'll show you guys how to do that real quick, but uh, I'm not personally going to be running Minecraft in this video just for the sake of time because uh, it's just kind of like a precaution everything. But yeah, anyway, before you do this, make sure that you go onto your profile and hit edit profile, go to the use version, and then make sure that this version is uh, highlighted right here. It should say something like 1.84, just make sure that's highlighted, and then hit save profile, and then you can hit play just to run it through once, and then it should say that Minecraft Forge is installed. But uh, for the sake of time, I'm going to go right into how to download the mod. So we're going to figure out what mods we can use. Uh, only one that I know of is available, that is Mr. Crayfish's Furniture mod. Uh, I've tried to download other mods, but they just didn't really work too well. Uh, I would keep crashing my Minecraft, and I uh, just kept getting errors whilst in game. And this is the only one that I actually found that works right with 1.8. But I'm sure in the future, a lot of mod makers will update their mods to 1.8, and uh, it won't be as buggy because that's how it is with every version update. So here is 1.8. This will also be in the description as well for you guys who want to download this mod. So yeah, this is 1.8. I'm going to download the second version 
of it for 1.8. And then this will open up a brand new ad fly page as you see here. So we're just gonna need to wait until it says skip ad. And then the bottom left, you're just going to hit keep. Once again, this is a reliable mod maker, guys. Trust me, this file will be safe as well. I've not gotten any errors or issues from Mr. Crayfish, who is the mod maker. So yeah, don't worry about that. Now you're going to drag this off the side because we are actually going to need to use this file real fast. But first we need to go into our search thing or like our search bar, or I forget what it's called. So you're going to type in percent app data percent. Let's see if I could type, there we go. And then this is just going to navigate me to my Minecraft folder. So if you don't know how to get to here, I'm sure there's a bunch of other tutorials online. I'm using Windows 7. So yeah, that's how you get to the dot Minecraft folder on Windows 7, but I'm sure it's different for Windows 8 and Mac. So yeah, uh, anyway, go into your Minecraft folder and um, you should have a thing called mods if you used it before, but if you have not, just right click uh, on the side, don't right click on a folder, like right click in a white space and then hit on new folder and then just name it mods no uppercase letters of any kind just make sure it looks exactly like this but since i do not need a folder i'm just going to hit no and then delete this folder it's because i already have the mods folder here so i have already put the uh furniture mod in here but just so i can show you real quick all you're going to do is just drag it right into the mods folder that you created or the one that you already had it doesn't really matter and now we actually do not need this open anymore so we can minimize that and also minimize this folder right here because we should be good to open up minecraft and run it and the mod should work fine so now that minecraft is open all we have to do is hit play make sure that you had the profile set it should say in the bottom right the profile that you're going to be using so this is minecraft 1.8 forge 11 14 0 12 61 so let's just hit play and then let's load up minecraft so now that Minecraft has loaded up, you should get this warning sign at the top because Forge was just released, as I said earlier in the video. So this is just a beta version of it. And it says major issues may arise, verify before reporting. So that's basically just saying that if you do get a mod error, uh, it isn't Forge's fault. You make sure that um, the problem is actually related to Forge before you report anything. And also make sure uh, that you aren't reporting anything that's related just to Minecraft and doesn't have anything to do with Forge. Like some errors don't have anything to do with mods and that kind of related stuff. Just make sure that you verify before reporting as it says up here. Just make sure that it actually is a forge related problem before you report the error. So uh, anyway, you should also see in the bottom left hand corner that says Minecraft 1.8. Uh, it should say forge mod loader. That's what FML stands for. And also the important thing is that it says four mods loaded or however many mods you have installed. That's how many it will say. Because uh, forge is actually like three different child mods of itself or something like that so yeah and we also have the fourth mod which is mr cray versus furniture mod so we're going to go into single player hit the 1.8 mod world or create a brand new world or whatever the heck you want to do and then i can show you guys that this actually has worked as you can see i didn't get any errors coming in here with some mods you actually might get some errors and minecraft might crash uh, if that happens it's just a mod issue that uh isn't related to forge at all and uh probably isn't related to minecraft either it's probably just related to the mod maker and i would just suggest contacting them and then just uh notifying them that it is not working correctly so they can update it in the future but yeah as i said a lot of the 1.8 mods that work are really really buggy as you can see right here um i don't know if you know mr crayfish's furniture mod but this is like a stone path and you're supposed to be able to walk on it but uh since he hasn't just figured out like how to do this yet these are just their own individual blocks so yeah i'm actually just like walking on air right here but um i'm sure in future versions of the mod as 1.8 gets updated and such um he will actually make it the way that it's supposed to be so yeah another thing with this uh there's a couple new blocks like there's like curtains over here so i'm just trying to prove to you guys that this actually is a mod that is working in 1.8 if i hit f3 if, as you can see in the top left it says macraft 1.8 but here we have some chairs from the mod uh television set uh, here we have a cabinet, some curtains, a lamp. But yeah, a lot of this stuff is really buggy. Like, you're supposed to be able to change channels on the TV, like in the 1.7 version of this mob. But I'm sure that will be added in later versions. But anyway, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this little tutorial. I hope you guys really did enjoy. Make sure to go pound that like button if you did. And if you have any issues that you think that maybe I could fix, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. But anyway, I hope this helped you guys. My name is Beckbro Jack. That is my villager friend. And we will see you guys all next time. Bye.